Someone asked me the other day what, what I run on my system in a 24-hour period of time. It's an off-grid system that runs completely independent of the utility at my house. It's primarily a backup system, but I run it every day to lower my bills a little bit. So uh, I decided to do a time-lapse kind of video to show you. It's 7.30 in the morning. It's going to be sunny. The panels are already producing almost 200 watts. My battery bank is at 70%. I run my printer, my computer, my speakers, my, my monitor, and this TV, which uh, is for my security cameras and for, uh, uh, for weather, I can check the clouds and, and so on. It sits on top of my system. Then my, my uh, second power strip is for the router, my switch, my DVR for my security cameras and security cameras. It stays on 24-7. The computer is used I would say an average of maybe an hour or two a day I have it shut off automatically after five minutes of non-use to save power okay, I'm running my landline wireless phone and I'm running our house alarm okay, I'm running a television and cable box in my bedroom okay, my stereo my 65 inch TV here and cable box are the only things that I don't always run on solar. I'd say probably 60% of the time I will. Uh, at noon I'll probably unplug, plug it in the utility because I plan on doing a dishwash load. This is my refrigerator 24-7, treadmill, goes in the other room. Uh, this is my coffee maker and this is the microwave. Okay, I run my dishwasher on the system. It's plugged in now. I'll be running a load today. Finally I run uh, my clothes washer it's 10:21 a.m. and I'm about 80% state of charge and the battery bank is being charged around 880 watts right now consumption using around 132 watts and the panels since I'm in bulk I can tell the panels are uh, generating around a, a little over a thousand watts amps 75 13.6 volts uh, I've used so far today two kilowatt hours. All right, so I'm just going to run a normal wash on solar. Okay, my clothes wash is finished. As you can see, it's 11:48. State of charge. My battery bank's 91 percent. 700 watts charging my um, battery bank right now. Consumption. Systems using. 440 watts. Panels are generating about 1143 watts. And today it's, uh, I've used around uh, 3.5 kilowatt hours. Now I just started up my uh, dishwasher. So, and it's on solar. I finished my, my clothes wash, now I'm doing this. Battery bank is 93% state of charge, but as you can see, something's drawing on this battery 300 watts. It's because almost 1500 watts are being used, consumed by uh, my my uh, dishwasher right now. That's why I don't use my TV uh, or my computer while I'm running a dishwashing load because uh, you can see here that I have a 2000 watt inverter, so that that's would be pushing it too much. This 1400 to 1500 watts only lasts for 10 minutes at a time and then gives it a break for a while. Okay, this is an update. It's 1.19 p.m. and um, the uh, state of charge on the battery is 95%. We're doing absorb and um, it'll go to float as soon as this hits 8 amps. And I've used 5.1 kilowatt hours. Yeah, when uh, when this hits 100%, that's when I'll plug in my TV and uh, to solar, and I might even run a movie. Okay, just checking back in. It's 2:32, and I reached 100%, so it's in float right now. And I reached my goal, which is typically between two and four to get 100%. Um, normally, I'd run my uh, you know, 
TV on solar, but because I ran a dishwashing load today, I ran my TV on the utility. Uh, now that I'm 100% though, I will be uh, running my TV the rest of the day when I'm watching it on solar. So I just go over here and unplug the utility, plug in solar, and when I want to watch TV, I'll just turn it on. And all right, I'm at 100% float, and it's 3.30 in the afternoon. The uh, used 6 kilowatt hours today. It, it uh, basically filled up my battery bank and um, allowed me to run a dishwasher load and watch my TV and other things. Let's see, it's uh, 4.20 p.m. And uh, at 100% loading, it's produced uh, let's see, 6.4 kilowatt hours, and uh, and now we're streaming a movie off the computer onto the big screen TV. Okay, this is an update. It's 5:45 in the afternoon. Float 100% and 6.7 kilowatt hours. So uh, it's hanging in there really good, and. Uh, Computer's been on a little bit today, and I've been watching the uh, TV. What we're going to do right now is we're going to stream a movie, so this computer will be on. See, this just turned on. Hear it? And uh, and of course the the TV will be on out there, and so we'll see how it looks later on tonight. It is 6:10 p.m. Battery state of charge is 99%, and right now I'm running. I'm streaming a movie from my computer, so the computer is actually on right now, uh, as well as the large 65-inch TV and stereo and everything else is running. So um, it's drawing 200 watts out of my battery bank. So if you go over here, uh, see the consumption. I'm using 518 watts right now. My my uh, inverter is putting out. So this, because I'm using this much, and I'm at 99% at 6 o'clock, I know my system well enough to know that pretty soon I'm going to have to um, unplug probably the TV and plug it in the utility. Because my goal, remember, is in the morning, I don't want to go below 70%. I like to stay around 75 to 80% state of charge. And I just know from experience with my system that I have to, you know, make an adjustment a little bit to accommodate that. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock in the evening, and uh, this will be my last recording for tonight. It's been going back and forth between float and resting, because you can see no watts are coming in. So 91% state of charge on the batteries, we used 7.1 kilowatt hours today. So the question is, what will it be tomorrow morning? Well, I'm going to be running the TV for a couple more hours tonight and uh, and then when I shut it off at that point <clears throat> the batteries will uh, will drain down another 12 percent probably about 10 to 12 percent tonight and that's because the refrigerator will be on the security cameras will be running the DVR for security cameras will be running the switch and the router and the alarm for the house and our landline telephone wireless phone right now we're looking at 91 percent so i'm guessing we'll be about let's see probably around 81 uh 80 say about 77 to 78 percent in the morning around seven o'clock that'll be 24 hours so let's see if that happens okay so we came around full circle it's what 10 after 7 in the morning and uh, showing 75% uh, state of charge on the battery bank so that's how I manage my off-grid solar power generator in a 24-hour period if this has been helpful or uh, you think anybody would find this this video useful maybe you could share it and like it appreciate it thanks